Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be matching my eyeshadow to my eye color. <laughs> Somebody suggested this like a long time ago. Well, maybe not that long ago, I don't know. And I thought it was such a good idea. So we're gonna do it. So what the hell, what color is my eyeball, dude? What color is my eyeball? Thank God I have so many freaking selfies so I can look at it up close and personal. So my eye is mostly green. Some people would say it's hazel. Uh, I, I call it green because the only hazel bit is right around my pupil, which is kind of like a orangey brown. Um, the rest of it is kind of like a lighter green and then I have like a dark green rim. So that's what I'm gonna be messing around with, dude. Uh, we're gonna do it. What do I wanna prime with? I don't understand why I'm peeling here. There's no reason for that. There's no reason, there's no need. I guess I'll just prime with my e.l.f. Sheer Eye Primer. I've been using this for a while now. Why change it? And then I'm gonna use a little bit of a translucent setting powder to set that. I'm gonna use the one from Dominique Cosmetics. Might be my new favorite translucent setting powder. Just saying, I'll keep you posted. I'm just gonna pick up a tiny amount of that and set. Cause the older I get, the more creasy my eyelid becomes and the harder blending is. Super fun. It's fun getting older. I love it. I love it so much. I love all the endless responsibilities that I have and the creases. And the creases. And the oil. And the dryness. And the breakouts. I fucking love it. All right, I'm gonna use a few different palettes from Sigma. These are, uh, I don't know if these are, are all like categorized in a certain way. Um, I've got the Jules eyeshadow palette which I don't know if I'm gonna use. Uh, the Earthy eyeshadow palette, which I'm gonna use for obvious reasons. Um, and the Beachy eyeshadow palette, which I'm also going to use for obvious reasons. <laughs> I do have a code with Sigma, if you didn't know. I have codes down below. I never, I never remember to tell you guys about it, but like, if you do make a purchase on the website, you can get money off. I will make a commission, at least on a couple of them, I think. Worst influencer ever. Don't even know the details. Uh, but those are linked down below if you have any interest. Anyway, so we're gonna start off. Oh God, there's so many good colors. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna start off with the dark, with the dark color. Um, so essentially my, the ring around my whole iris. Uh, so I'm gonna pick up Riptide from the Sigma Beachy palette, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Love. And I'm gonna use once again a Sigma product. This is the Medium Sweeper brush, uh, E54. I'm gonna pick up that shadow. And I'm gonna make sure to really, really tap off my brush so I don't get like a ton of crazy fallout. And I'm gonna start building up just black. Oh shit, that just has a black base. All right, well, I already started, fuck. All right, so when you tap it off, all the shimmer goes away and then it just becomes black. But I'm just gonna place this down to begin with, to create the shape that I want. And I'm gonna go out in this direction. So this is one of those matte shadows that has like a really beautiful pearl when it's padded down. So when you tap it, all the shimmer goes away. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Okay, now that I have that is the shape that I want, essentially. I'm going to pick up more of that and I'm gonna spritz it with some MAC Fix Plus so that it doesn't just all go everywhere. And then I'm going to pat it on top of that black. Because I want that green reflect, that's the whole point. I guess this could include my pupil color too. Let's just pretend that's what I was going for. Now using another Sigma E54 brush, because I have a million of them, uh, I'm going to grab, I'm gonna grab Moss. No, yes, Moss, which is this light brown shade. Brown? What? This light green shade, it's light green. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on. Next up, I'm going to grab Canyon this shade right here on a clean Sigma E54 brush because I have like four of them. <laughs> I'm also gonna spritz that with a little Fix Plus, just like a tiny bit. 
and I'm going to pat this in the center of the lid going towards the inner part but I'm basically focusing this all in the center and then I'm just going to pat into that first shade especially on the top so kind of just like in this diagonal blending them together so if you don't want your eyeshadow to get muddy focus it in the clean area first focus on like filling that whole area and then once you have that covered with the nice like clean shadow you can start patting into your next color and then make sure you're focusing that brush right there you're not taking it out too far into either shade and that will prevent your eyeshadows from becoming muddy or messy looking just wiping that brush off and now i'm going to pick up a vacay from the beachy palette again on that same brush again a little flick fix plus i'm going to place this in the inner part of the lid same thing patting and then inner third and then slowly blending into that brown so bringing it up just a little bit and patting over that like bronzy shade for my waterline i'm going to use leading lights glitter eyeliner from lancome I'm just going to place this all in my waterline and a little bit onto the lower lash line. And then I'm going to grab Vacay again on my Refer 28 brush. And I'm going to place this on my lower, on the outer part of my lower lash line. And then for the very inner corner, I'm going to pick up Moss from the earthy palette, this really light green, on my Refer 03 brush. I'm gonna start that on my lower lash line, blending it into vacay, is that what it's called? And then finally, I'm gonna pick up Canary from the Jewels palette. And I'm gonna place this right in the inner corner. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of vacay on my finger uh, and go over that brown just a little bit more because I feel like there's too much bronze. And like I said, my eyes are more green. All right, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a few coats of the Give Beauty Mascara. What do you think? Did we like match the vibe? Part of me thinks that it looks a little too gold. Um, but from every angle, you can see the like green, gold, orange, brown, and then that deep, that deep shade. Like even the black has those like green reflects. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think a lot of the time people are like, what's the best like eyeshadow color for my eye color? And honestly, like your eye color, like if you have blue eyes, you can wear blue eyeshadow. If you have brown eyes, you can wear brown eyeshadow, you know? Uh, usually like choosing something that's going to be the opposite color on the, like the color wheel is going to really make your eye color pop because you have that contrast next to each other. But I don't know. I just feel like this like complements my eye color really, really nicely. Um, something about rimming my eyes in like a darker shade and then having those lighter shades on the outside really just kind of like makes my eyes pop. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there are other looks that you want to see, specific makeup looks. Um, yeah, always, always need the recommendations. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Potential spam. Fuck off. Maybe you guys can send me photos of your eyes and I'll match your eye color. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, all right, bye.